Welcome to the Commonwealth of Dominica, the nature island of the Caribbean. Our focus, though, is not on the scenery, but on a unique four-piece folk band called the Jingping Band. As a whole, the band dates back to plantation days in the 19th century. At present, the music played by this type of band is most often heard during the period of independence celebrations and the tourist season. We highlight various aspects of the tradition and meet some of the dedicated contributors. My name is Corporal Alexis. Marcelo Libna. Christopher Jefferson Warrington. My name is Harvey Sender. My name is Joseph Eddy. John Coffey. My name is Joseph Paul. I'm Francis. Stephen Draco from Rupolin. Alexandre Laron. My name is Damasos Challenger. I'm 77 years old. 78 years. 78 years old. 77. 77. 70 years. 57. I'll be 61 this year. 61. I will be 50 this year. I started playing music in 1978. I started to play since I was 20 years. You're a young little boy at 8 years of age. I can't remember the year I started. Because I started very young. I not long time, more than 50 years. Now. I started to play. 1975. I've been involved in singing music for about 30 years now. I've been following the bands since I was probably 10, 12. I met my grandfather with the accordion. My parents and them was involved in, in this, that same activity. So I get involved with them because all where they go, I was going with them. When I raised up little boy at home, I met my father and me. Drumming. My father was an accordionist. And at the time I come out to school, I used to take his accordion and start to make my little comments. From since I was 8, 19 years. I got involved um, because my entire family was once musicians and dancers. So I, I followed suit. I joined the, the group at an early age. The name Jinping is an onomatopoeic expression that describes the rhythm and sound of certain instruments, as well as the overall sound of the band when heard from a distance. The name is used regardless of the musical genre that the band is playing. For example, the music is still considered Jinping even if the band is playing a known calypso, compa, or any other popular song. Traditionally, all of the instruments of the Jingping Band have been locally produced, except for the accordion. The tambu, also called the tambal, serves as the primary rhythmic instrument of the band, and for this reason is arguably the most important. In the early days, it was called the tambu bass, from the name tambu basque since it was introduced by early French settlers to Dominica who came from the Basque region of southwestern France. Goat skin is stretched over a circular wooden drum frame into which pairs of small metal jingles are set. The instrument resembles the tambourine, but larger. The player plays two simultaneous patterns which make up the rhythm, one with either hand. In situations where this drum is unavailable, another type of hand drum, also called a tambou, is used. The boom boom, also known as the boo boom or boom for short, produces the bass or low end of the Jingping band. It is made out of the hollow branch of the forest tree bois flo, or from a length of bamboo, or in more recent times, PVC pipes. Different pitches can be produced by blowing into the playing end of the instrument. Pitches also vary depending on the length and width of the boom boom. The guage, also called the siak or shiak, is a percussive instrument with African and Native American roots that produces the treble or high end of the Jingping band. It is an enclosed tin cylinder with a greater-like exterior with beads or small pebbles inside. The gouage is played with a scraper made of three metal wires attached to a wooden handle. 
scraping the metal wires against the outer surface using one hand while shaking it with the other hand produces its characteristic percussive sound, effectively resembling a cross between a guiru and a maracas. For this reason, in the past, the Jingping was sometimes called a shak shak band because of the dominant sound of this instrument. The accordion had its origins in Austria, Germany and Italy, but was brought to Dominica in the 19th century via France, and it provides the melody and harmony by compressing or expanding the bellows while pressing buttons or piano-style keys. While the accordion is currently the main melodic and harmonic instrument in the Jinping, instruments such as violins, bamboo flutes, harmonicas, mandolins and banjos were melodic alternatives in the past. In addition to playing these instruments, the musicians stamp their feet while performing. The stamping serves as a self-generated metronome to assist with timing and in some cases functions similar to the present-day kick drum, especially when done on a wooden floor or stage. I play all instruments from the, the boom boom, the, the guage, the shiak, the accordion, the tambour. All along that, uh, just leave it. I play. I play the drum. I play the accordion. But I, I, I play the um, the drum also. I never could play the accordion, you understand? It's the drum and the uh, great I used to play. He used to play uh, the drums and the boom boom and the guage. No, I'm playing the accordion. I danced before I played. I tell myself I'll do it to play music. So I used to follow them, go with them, lose my sleep, hold the light with them for me to learn the black audience. When I get on my ass, burning me in the morning, I don't sleep. Just for me to learn the black audience. I used to listen to how they play, I used to watch them, especially that man, that young man from <coughs> Deepa, named Landa Massicot. My brother brought an accordion in his recording. He brought it home and we learned to play at home. Self-taught. I learned to play by myself. My generation people are musical people. I used to take a coin at Condens Huh? And I give it a wire and give it ready. Sit then and, and do that too. So it's why I learned to play the guys first and then I come on the table. Mr. Clayton. Could you remember the teacher too in, in, in Grand Bay? From Grand Bay? Well, he gave me the first accordion. I sit down by him and then they tell me what to, how to charge the note. Sometimes I take my hand and beat it on the anything. So after a while, he tells me, well, I'll have to buy my accordion for him to just finish learning me how to play. My father sent by one another one. So I, I, will, I used to take it and do little thing, do little thing, do little thing. Forty-five dollars in town. I buy that little accordion. The harmonica was, since I was a youth, that was my Christmas toy. When I get perfect, I go and compete with him and I beat him. As these musicians fondly recall, it was not very easy as a child to get one's hands on the instruments of the Jingping Band. I was not entitled to touch the accordion. You used to hide it away from me, but I get it. Your hands used to get full. They put it on the, on the chair. They put it so, and he beat it so. He asked, who touched my violin? When he gets to know it, I lick my feet. <laughs> I used to live here on my foot, and go sending me right to me for the accordion for him. I go in because I know when I come down, he will teach me how to do that, how to do that, how to do that. You know? So I have to take my gun and go pay the bill and walk down back. <laughs> you see, when you want to do something, nothing is not too far for you to go. These experiences led to a high level of appreciation when these musicians finally got instruments of their own. These are wife's tomb. <laughs> I have that in a case of my, my shoe or my clothes. Well sealed. I don't want nobody to play with it. Mine lasted me plenty of time because <laughs> I just love it. I live close to the sea and um, the sea salt could have an effect on, 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 on the accordion. I'm concerned about it 
So I keep it in a bag. I take it on my drum because it's itself I play it. I got spas oil in my instruments. My instruments last me a lot. After harmonica, then it's long, long term out. It looks never spoiled in it yet. When I finish me, I wash it. My little boy, five years of age, he just go for it and tell me, Daddy, I want to play. I want to learn to play. I take it, I give it to him. We'll shake it how we can because it's heavy. We'll shake it how we can. What I'll teach him, I tell him, is your risk. Your risk have to do the work. He tell me, okay, Daddy, I'll go ahead. I'll... But unless I don't tell him, take it, we will not. My um, accordion has, has bad. My, my CF is in, in a case. Because if I if it spoil or I lose it, I can say, well, I will lose half of my life. We have an area storing it home that it don't get wet or you know overheated. I don't let anybody my thing to bang bang bang. I hope you have spent even big money for that way. If I know you can do something or you want to learn or you want to learn, I will um, give it to you and then I'll tell you to practice. I take care of my instrument, all my things I have to take care of. But apart from that, I will not hide it for the children because they hide it for me and I get it. So I want them to learn to play it. The Jingping Band accompanies various traditional dances such as the quadrille, lances, waltz, heel and toe polka, sotis, flirtation and mazouk. In the past, the band provided music for community dances and family gatherings, and those who knew the dance steps would take part, while others would wait on the fringes for something familiar and then join in. Traditionally, the house in the community with the largest floor space served as the dance hall. In Roseau, the Albert Hall, upstairs the present AC Shillingford store, and the Coronation Hall on Hanover Street were leading dance halls then. In the 1960s, Jingping went from a dance hall setting to a stage setting for audiences, and with only one group dancing at a time. This was as a result of the introduction of the cultural competitions by the island's first premier, Edward Oliver Leblanc, in 1967. At present, the band and one group of dancers share the stage and are judged on their performance while the audience observes. Before we used to play in your local village for the people. Sometimes we go to a shop, we play music through the shop, for the, for the shop owner. The people come in, they dance, they drink, and have a good time. Till they break it, we should play music. The community would join in, have fun, cook, drink, and dance. And you see them on your chair, the people dance in front of you at the same level. No sleep. Every Christmas, every carnival, it was for everybody. Dance every day with different dances where the young people join in with the older ones and to learn it also. I used to enjoy accordion. When you play in a dance, you could do, take the accordion and see what it feel like, what, what you feel like, because you play a dance. You can use the bass, you can do everything, make sure the dance playing sharp. But when you go to a competition, you play for people to understand, so it was slow. Nowadays, high five take everything. You also find drinking music going out to play like before. In recent years, with the growing tourism industry, bands are hired to perform at hotels, restaurants, tourism attraction sites, and other locations. Through its rise in popularity, Jingping music has influenced the development of contemporary genres like cadence and bouillon. Jingping bands used to play dance, and I used to go and walk with my mother. People used to go and watch dance. That's the way maybe I became a musician. Now we have it every national day. But in those days, that was a everyday thing. Excel one, we did a song titled Cavalier, Me Cavalier, which was an attempt in doing Jinping, not with the traditional instruments, but with the modern day instruments with a contemporary approach. I know it's very far from the original, but that's the way I could see it with uh, the modern instruments at that time. Sometimes when I sing, I think of Jinping and I introduce the gouache or the siak by adding to whatever Caribbean music That's Jinping for you. I can't say I'm doing it like those fellas. Those, those guys too, 
special. From the time we formed the group, this group, RSB, our main focus was on um, incorporating our traditional beats into the music. We always attended cultural gala, so we could um, further educate ourselves and study our um, traditional beats. In terms of Duva and um, Madras Epibele, you would, you would hear more of the accordion which come from the, the mazo. From the word go, we knew exactly what we were dealing with when we were dealing with our traditional beats. And that's why we figure it's important that our musicians would know the elements that make up the different traditional beats. Children band from Girodel, Poetica, and they always impress us. One day when I was doing that song, Union Weaving and the Little Nature Isle, I decided to attempt to put these cultural instruments into the electronic song. I used like the congas to mimic the boom boom, so you know the conga would get that song. I realized groove wise it was very similar to what we got from the Jing Ping Band. Performing the song and watching the response from the chorus, it was very satisfying. We basically wanted to have a genre of our own to adapt to the music. There was some influence by the Rose Culture Group with the music. What we studied was the wash, the tambal, the accordion, the boom boom. This is one of the bands that really brought out the, the music and, and like Cornell have to get another critical of credit because with what he did with the Giro Legend Ping Band, Jose Boye Boji, and with the Boye Legend Ping Band, with the, the, uh, the song that they did. Chord arrangements and maybe structures of some of the songs and so on, you can hear that kind of cultural kind of flow and melodies. In terms of when we started the dance, so we start we would make uh, the cues to start um, the dance. For example, when we were doing, we were doing the Avasi, we would say Avasi, Avasi, and then in the middle, APP, the change of um, position in the dance. And um, Rav would be sometimes around listening to what we were saying and watching us release and he would turn pick it up and music the same songs of the music. Fusing the, 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 the Boya, the modern Boya now into that kind of nostalgic kind of feel. There are currently seven active Jingping bands that serve their communities as well as neighboring villages. They are Crawford and Company, the Petit Savan Jingping Band, the Piti Soufouye Jingping Band, the Boetica Jingping Band, the Warner Jingping Band, the Girardel Jingping Band, and Ban Akayo of Atkinson. Ban Akayo specializes in Sewinal music, the folk music of Christmas here in Dominica. We go from house to house, just singing uh, Christmas songs, playing the, the, the Jingping. In the wee hours of the morning, we just wake them up from their, their bed with some nice music and, you know, play some songs related to Christmas. They'll allow us in the house. They would offer us drinks, eats and stuff. We'll play some music, tell some stories. House to house, serenading. Other notable groups include the Hummingbirds of Castle Bruce and the Gutter Jingping Band. There were also numerous iconic Jingping musicians who are now deceased, as well as countless nameless village groups that no longer exist. The challenges I have now is to teach more people to, to play the instruments. It's lack of feeling. Mm -hmm. if that is the problem. They love the music. They love to hear the music. But they do have, they don't take it seriously. They'll come today, tomorrow they'll not come. It has a lot of people, a lot of children that are not interested. But it has plenty that are interested. But it's the instrument they don't have. Continuity. There's nobody picking it up. If I learn to play what you know, you teach me something to play. When you teach me something to play, you take your music, you go, you go before I go and play. They just want to, to learn to play the music. I can go to you. Man, man go to you, but he'll start coming to you. I want some young people to, for me to train, but they don't want to come. Not to say I don't want to train them, you know. If they want to learn to play, I'm available. The same children in school, some of them will not learn. Not by fault, but some of them will have learned. What you want that don't learn, you will not go to college. 
but he has to he or she has to do something. Before they pick up the cutlass, that's only do something, send them and really call. To me, the young people now is Americanized, Americanized, you know, some of them. And I just in that same as well. In the age of computer, you find a lot of people are not interested in it, so we have to kind of prompt them, ask them, beg them. The music starts to you know, change already. They have got the taste and they have got the, the spirit in them. When you ask them to practice, they never yeah, come. It will not go further because they don't, they don't have any interest in it. It saddens me, but that, that's, that's the real truth. That's the reality. But young generation, if they don't meet, if they don't meet nobody doing it, they won't continue. But if, as long as they meet people doing it, a lot of people will with the past. I will not be all the time. People migrating and um, we have to keep training more people. I have a good group. Those people who are the passion, they, they, they're gone. Members start to die one by one, one by one until my brother migrated to St. Croix. Those I played with before, some of them died, some of them overseas. The partner that was playing the Guarani died. The, the partner that was playing the, the Bobo died. The partner that used to bring the drum died. So in the band, the Jinping band, now is me alone that there. Roman Luke, now he used to blow for me. But he, he died about three years ago. And he died the year before. Maurice Benjamin. And, and um, Belford Benjamin also. Now the other partner that used to play Jinping with me and he was playing competition with Ebony Francis, competitive servant. The man died too. The leading man, Francis Ban, is called him Francois. He's now amputated, that is home. He's blind. I just try to recruit. I have some players there, but I have to go and beg them and, you know, I, 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 as if I have to go and beg them, I don't, I, don't, I don't like that. But I'm successful in what I do, and I go in the undergraduate process. After I stopped playing, I saw he didn't have nobody in the village to play, because nobody wanted to learn. <laughs> You know, I play Indian only. I have got no Indian that can I use. I close my eyes in death. Just say we will miss the icon. So that's the I go. Call it, I haven't got called Jadi again. I made my name. So I tell them I'm trying to help them. Because I've gone far. But all what I try to do, I try to. People not interested, so there's nothing I can do. And I tell them I'm not getting young. I'm not going to bust my brains on people now at that age. And that makes sense. After you died, no more called you. I'm afraid. Uh, uh, there will be no accordion in the, in the near future. This thing will really die. It will die. Don't say culture is going to Culture doesn't matter. All of us going to die and leave culture still running. We're in a world now where we can play compound all on the accordion. So it, 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 it's, it's going somewhere. I don't think it's going to die anytime soon. Among the middle age and all the folks here, it's very much alive. Would you give me my flowers while I'm living? And let me enjoy them while I can. Please don't wait till I'm dead to be buried. And then put some flowers in my hands. Despite the challenges, Jingping music continues to influence present-day popular Dominican music and provides the unique timbre that identifies such music, be it Cardas Lipso or Bouillon. Jingping will continue to maintain a key presence in independent celebrations and tourism entertainment for the foreseeable future. With roots in Africa, Europe and Latin America and development through the colonial experience, Jingping represents another musical genre created in Dominica. It is arguably the signature genre of Dominica's folk music, an achievement to be valued and celebrated. It would be always called and I see. I begin to lift me up and bring me and see. They said I can move. They come for me. When I play, I play for them. I feel happy and I feel proud man to play for them. Once I am living in music is mine. And once I have what's true to hold my accord, I will, I will, I will, I will play, I will play music. I enjoy those times of sharing, sharing drinks and jokes and music with, with, with. Friends, family. Jinping music is, num in, is number one in the island. All the time I alive, I still continue. God has given me a great talent. I always have fun, really. All around Dominica, different areas, they like their Jinping. This culture is my favorite. That I like. Well, I like. <laughs>